And that was for me growing up too, is, is I found working out when I was about 15. I fell in love with it because I was a skinny kid. I was very insecure. I was made fun of all the time. And, and when I finally figured it out and started getting results, my perspective, my view of myself, my confidence in myself mm-hmm. changed. But also I grew up with really heavy depression. And I found that the only time I was happy was when I had, when I had absolutely murdered myself in the gym. And I walk out and I'm like, I have at least a couple hours of just bliss. You know, yeah. I, I have given everything I have and I've made myself better in some way. And those endorphins are pumping. And it was mm-hmm. before, you know, we had this much access as we do now. And it's just growing consistently, right? With the internet and AI and all this other stuff. But it was something that I was like, I don't know the science behind this, but I can tell you uh, instinctively, I feel amazing and I can feel whatever's going on here. My mental clarity, I had better focus. I was happy, you know, whatever it was. I became addicted to that mm. and it helped get me out of this funk I was in for so many years of my life. Um, and it, and like I said, it, I've only found a positive when you really break down all the good stuff that comes out of taking care of yourself and getting fit and getting in shape. They're all positives. You can't, you can't find a negative. I don't think. No. If, if that guiding light isn't like a physical representation of God, I don't know what is, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. honestly, like to, for you to follow that feeling and like continue doing that, yeah. And to, you know, it's, it's pretty powerful. Yeah. It, it's funny because, you know, I think when you find the weight room, when you're really young as a young male, especially, um, there's so much power in that. You don't realize it too at the same time. It's a way to get out your aggressions. It's a way to just dump those hormones. Yeah. Um, it's probably why you're such a nice guy now, right? <laughs> I mean- <laughs> Thousands you, of hours right? in the gym, guys. <laughs> I, it humbles you in a hundred times over. Yeah, you yeah. know, I think I was one of those kids that just, you know, I, I don't get me wrong. I was I came from a single family or sing, single parent kind of like family, four kids, forced a lot. I was the eldest of four kids, mm. and you know the kids that I grew up with in my neighborhood. We played sports, but we got in a lot of fights, right? I think that's just being a kid, yeah. you know, being a young male too at the same time. And I had so much aggression, right, constantly, and I was just like, where the hell is this coming from? It's just like no matter what we were doing, you just wanted to punch the kid in the face, whatever yeah. it was, right? <laughs> and I think that's all young men, right? You know, we're yeah. dealing with stuff we like, you know, you go through puberty, yeah. you're just trying to figure it out. You right? got these new hormones coming in, you don't know what to deal with them. Yeah, like, yeah. and then I, I ran into the weight room. I went, my mom bought me my first, like, basically it was a plastic set and this terrible yeah. barbell and Vinyl she goes, weights yes, and everything. Yeah. yeah. And she goes, figure out what to do here. And I probably bench press for like a week straight, right? That's yeah. all I did. Yeah. Um, but I, I didn't realize the benefits. It was like literally taking out all this aggression, right? Yep. On these weights versus, you know, ending up in juvie or, or in prison. So yeah. I was just like, if I can stress something to like young kids, especially young men, it's just like find the weight room young. It's gonna make the yeah. world a difference for you in so many ways. I couldn't agree more with that. Yeah, speaking of those like vinyl, you know, plastic weight sets too. Like I, I had one in a, when I was about 15 is really like when I started getting working out. And so the only place I had to work out was weight training at school. Didn't have a gym membership or anything. So I bought a set for the house, which is like, oh, it was like a hundred bucks or something, or something yeah. cheap. But you had to screw the barbell together. <laughs> and I remember I got to the point um, when I first bench pressed ever, I had 95 pounds fall on my chest. Mm. I was 135 pounds at 6'3". I was a bean pole dude. I could, I had no strength whatsoever. I don't even know how much I could have, maybe 75 if I was lucky. Um, but I remember that first getting made fun of for that. And then two, the feeling of just feeling weak, you know? Mm. Um, but I, by the time, probably like six months into having this set, it might have gone up to 150 pounds. I don't know. But the bar was bending, dude. I'm yep. like, this thing's going to snap any rep. But it, <laughs> I would let the thing fall on me, you know, it's going to have to figure it out. And I never had the spotter. So what it taught me was to, uh, just muscle control, mind muscle control, the connection I have and what I'm capable of. So I would conserve my energy for that last rep. Fire up. And I would get it out so that the weight let never fell fall. on me again. Yeah. Fire you know, up. and I'm not going to say I haven't had it happen a couple of times, but I, but I know myself and I know what my limits are and how to overcome that. And that's, yeah, that was one of the coolest things was it taught me, you know, you learn to go to failure, right? But you grow from failure. Mm. You learn from those mm. failures and they become your successes. And I taught myself like, first time I ever bench 500 pounds. All right, I was like, 20, I think. And it's I've a been solid number right there. I was about to say 225, five, three reps. <laughs> yeah, like, that was my right. running. But back. I'm still chasing that but, number, but okay. <laughs> no, don't do it. Trust me. You got a couple of injuries out of that bad boy. But my whole thing was that I'd been training and training and training until I can get to this point because so many people have these mental blocks on these big numbers, right? 
every time I lifted, I, I had a certain thing I would do, a, like a flex. I would test the weight. I would do, I have like a, you know, I, uh, I don't know what the term would be, but I did the same thing to condition myself for that moment. And then it got to the point where I put 500 pounds on, on the weight and I had like three spotters around me and everyone's freaking out. They think I'm going to drop it. They don't know what's going to happen, right? And I had been training for months for this. I'm like so ready, dude, because I'd already broken all these barriers and I'd been repping some big stuff. Anyways, I pick up the weight and I'm like, all right, this thing's heavy, you know, it is heavy. But I would always tell myself, I can do more, I can do more, I can do more. And I repped it out one rep and it was, I was like, that was pretty light and everyone's freaking out. So I did two more, dude. <laughs> and, for three. And everyone's sitting there like, what the hell? Like, who the hell is this guy? I'm 20 years old, man. Uh, and it only went up from there. But, but it was one of those things in my head. It was the story I tell myself right here. And I saw this video not too long ago of this kid total beanpole dude and he put fake weights on the on the bench right and he's benching 500 pounds and having this random kid in the in the gym spot him and the kid's blown away he's like wow well, did you do that what's going on so they're fake weights Wait, yeah and the kids sit the other kid sits down he's like, i think you can do it he sits down to bench it and he couldn't bench it dude it probably weighed 60 pounds or something you oh. know and so i was just my only thought was like the it's our minds is yeah. the biggest factor, I think, with, when it comes to what we believe we're capable of. And when you start to believe you're capable of more things and you realize our bodies are more resilient and, and more capable of things, you push through these barriers. And it's like, your mind's gonna give out before your body does. And if you can get through that and realize, look, I can do one more rep. I can do five more reps. I can do 30 more seconds of cardio. I, even when I do cardio, I have a set limit I always wanna hit. Let's say it's a 25 minutes and I'm trying to hit X amount of calories, X amount of you know whatever it is, distance, all that. I always do one more minute. If I have a rep count that I'm trying to hit, I'll find a way to do another rep. Yeah. Like I just push through and, and, and it's something that helps me better myself, but also at the same time, it reminds me to not be okay with just the bare minimum or, or what it should be. I want to excel and go further. And I, I feel like I try to apply that to the rest of my life as well. Pain and gain, baby. Thank you for watching Studio 22. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow our socials at Studio 22 Podcast.